To get a better idea of just how much faster Hotmail is, we're going to run through five common actions. Opening a new message, browsing to the next message, clicking back into the inbox, moving a few messages, and then opening the Compose page. Our connection is both speed and latency capped, and Internet Explorer's cache has been cleared. So let's see what that looks like side by side. Last year's version of Hotmail is on the left, and this year's is on the right. As we begin, notice the click effect on the cursor. In the 2011 version of Hotmail, the next message is prefetched and often loads before the effect vanishes. Navigating back to the inbox is also much quicker. And as we select and move these messages, the list will immediately update. Lastly, we click into a new message, which is now almost instant. 2011 has finished the test in just over 18 seconds, but the 2010 version is still going. Notice how much longer it's taking to reload the inbox and load the compose page. There are a variety of factors that can influence the level of improvement, but this test should give you a good idea of what an average user might see.